<laughs> nice. Careful, moms and dads. Hey everybody, Nathan here from RevRides. And in this video, we are gonna be taking these two Flying Fox e-bikes, meant for kids, to the park and letting my three boys rip around them. But first, let me go over the detailed specs. All right, my boys have actually been riding this bike for a couple days now. So I have a little bit better understanding of the features and the range that you're gonna get. So let's talk about that. First, let's go to the seat height. The bike's sitting on the ground, both wheels are on the ground. The seat height at the lowest is 27 inches and you can raise it up. There's different marks for the height. I wouldn't go any higher than the lowest mark 50. Make sure that it's secure in the bike. So then at that height, the seat is 31 and three quarters inches high. The wheel diameter, it's an 18 inch wheel, but they're technically 19 and a half inches in diameter. The width is three inches wide. The rear shock is an EXA Form R. It's number 562. It actually has an adjustable rebound. <laughs> this is an air shock with oil dampening and it does have adjustable rebound. So if you tighten the rebound all the way clockwise, it's gonna rebound really slow. I would have it almost full speed for my boys so that it is very reactive. The front shocks are also adjustable and they have an adjustable compression on the right fork and a preload adjustment on the left fork to make it stiffer. The Flying Fox comes with dual hydraulic brakes. So the front and rear brakes are both hydraulic, which has been really nice. The boys are able to lock the tire up with ease so they don't have to pull super hard. Most bikes my boys have ridden have mechanical brakes, just like a cable brake, and they have a hard time pulling the brake levers hard enough to actually stop the bike by skidding the tires. Because these bikes are electric, they have a power switch on the right side of the handlebars. Hold it down for a few seconds to power it on. It always will start in green mode, which is approximately 10 miles an hour. They hit it again, it'll go to an orange mode, which will get them about 15 miles an hour. Hit it one more time, and the top speed of this bike is between 19 to 20 miles an hour. On the display, you'll also see the power bar of the battery, which shows the capacity in four different increments. These bikes come equipped with a 36 volt, five amp hour battery. Five amp hours is not very much, but we've been out there riding this around in a variety of trains, some trail riding. We also took it to the Friday night ride in Portland. The boys have definitely been able to hit an hour of riding in these mixed conditions, but we frequently find that we want more range because it's so much fun and they want to keep riding. So I would recommend picking up an extra battery or possibly two extra batteries. So when they do get low, you can pop a battery out, throw a new one in there and keep going. These e-bikes come equipped with a 500 watt motor, which I think is pretty amazing for this size. Most adult e-bikes are only a 750 watt motor. So you're close to the power of a full size adult e-bike. Even with an electric motor and a battery, these bikes only weigh 41 pounds. My boys were able to easily maneuver the bike, move the handlebars around, pick up the seat and move the bike around to maneuver it when they're in tight quarters, making it a great option as an introduction for your kid to motorsports or even mountain biking. You can go a lot farther with them on this bike when they don't have to pedal. One final feature I really like about these bikes, especially as a parent, is that there's a kill switch that they can put on their kid's wrist. If they fall off the bike, it's gonna stop the power and you won't have the tire spinning on the ground while, they're, while you're trying to help your kid. If you guys have any other questions about this bike, don't hesitate to reach out to RevRides. Our contact information is in the description of the video. Now, let's head to the park and get my boys first impressions on this bike. So fun. Yeah. What was that? I love this bike. It's really fun. Especially just being able to do this. <laughs> and then I don't You're creating mini stunt riders. <laughs> I put it to the middle and honestly, like it like gets a lot faster. Like just the middle one is a lot faster. Oh, interesting. So out of the like, three settings. Out of the three settings, 
green is um like more neutral like it's yep. like more like smooth but then if you want to go like faster and like rip around kind yeah. of you you want to go like middle Orange. and if you're like really good at it yeah. you can go to red okay and red is like probably so red's fast. the fastest yes got it the noted okay cool dude i love it honestly i love it it's amazing it's good. It's really cool. how does the suspension feel yeah it's good it's good yeah sweet it's really So like, when you tap it once, the, this is like a lot faster than okay. the green. Yeah. So red is when you're like really used to it. So I, I'm good at. You like the middle. Yeah, I like the middle. I, I, I kind of want to try the red. Red is like, it's gonna be really fast. So don't go down the stairs on red yet. Ready, go. <laughs> the brakes work good. The red bike is in the green mode, which is the slowest mode. The gray bike is in the orange mode, which is the medium speed mode. We're gonna do a drag race, and then we're gonna go and do it in yellow versus red. On your marks, get, go. Okay, so now the red bike is in the red mode, fastest mode and the gray bike is in the medium mode, the orange mode. All right, on your marks. Get set, go. Nice. Nope, it doesn't cut the motor. Yee hoo! Ah. So does it, will it do a burnout? Yes, it will. Oh yeah, cool. Nice, dude. <laughs> On your mark. Get set. Go. <laughs> what are your thoughts on it? Um, I think the bikes are good. I think every kid should probably start on the green and then if it's too slow for them, probably go to orange. The suspension is really good. Oh, back and front. And I just really like the the, the the mic. What do you think? Do you like it? Yes. It, and it's really fun. <laughs> What's all over your face? What's all over my face? I don't know. <laughs> you, got <laughs> you got dirt all over your face. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. The suspension feels really good. And how's the acceleration? It feels really good too. Yeah, is it, how, is it really fast? Yeah. What mode do you like the best? Um, probably the orange. The middle one? Yeah. What do you like best about it? Um, probably like how fast it is. Again, tell us how old you are and if you think you're big enough for this bike. I'm seven years old and I think this bike is perfect. Nice. Back to the back and forth, back and forth. Sweet. Good job, dude. Well done. <laughs> Stand like this and just go like this. You could do that. Nice. <laughs> Hell yeah. Nice tubs. It's fun burning out. Stand right there. Now, pull the front brake yeah. and hold the front brake. Don't let go of the front brake. And while you're holding the front brake, turn the wheel. Okay. Okay. Now let go. Now, no, not of the brakes, but like now let off on it. Faster, faster, there you go. Perfect, okay. okay. Okay, and I'm gonna have you tip it to the side and then turn the throttle. There you go, faster, there you go. <laughs> nice, Grayson. What do you think? 
They're amazing, right? Amazing, yeah. Nice. All right, so how does an adult fit on it? I'm 5'10", 205 pounds. Let's see, I'm gonna go in fast mode. Okay, fast is two Okay. I'm gonna put the seat up a little bit. Yeah. Woo! <clears throat> nice. Oh, that's too slow. That's actually just rebound. That totally changed it. The rebound was like really slow when I adjusted it tighter. And then compression. Makes it stiffer. Yeah. It's fun. Oh yeah. This is good. <laughs> there you go. Good job, dude. <laughs> Careful moms and dads. Should we start a racing series? No. <laughs> Come on! We should start a racing series with these bikes and all kids are on these same bikes. What do you think? A lot of crashes. A lot of crashes, okay. <laughs> Grayson, do you want to start a racing series with these and race other kids? Wait, actually, yeah, I think that would be really fun. Yeah, that would be fun. What do you think about racing, Gray? A lot of crashes is very dangerous, but so beware if you sign your kids up when we start doing this. <laughs> beware. Um, but yeah, it would be fun. Yeah, it would be fun. I don't. You know what? You guys are not into racing. <laughs> I mean, I would. Okay, I would. Well, like, I well, out of out of all three, you guys, who's the fastest? Oh. Who's the slowest? No. <laughs> oh. okay. Burn. That sounds like a race right there. <laughs> he likes going slow. He's a, he's a smoother. He's a speed demon. He likes going smooth. He's a speed demon. Nice. He'll crash and he'll take it. <laughs> like he'll take it. He won't just start. Like he won't just give up. He'll do it the next day. <laughs> yeah, these are the kind of bikes that won't be like motorcycle, but they will be motorcycle. <laughs> like they're like a perfect mi mix. Do you think it's a good training for learning how to ride a motorcycle? Uh, yeah. It would be pretty good for like training how to ride a motorcycle. Depends on what motorcycle you're going for though. Yeah. Oh, dude, that got a lot farther. Nathan's such a good guy. And then I'll get a close one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> On the squat, favorite feature. Favorite feature, um, the changeable modes. Um, probably the speed and like how it could pop up the front wheel without like having to blow up the bars. Second feature. I like the battery. It goes out really smooth. And okay. Really smooth. Probably like uh, maybe like how fast it goes. guys so what are your final thoughts good and maybe something that should change something you may not like okay so they're very good like i love them but they could either like add a kickstand or possibly like pedal like so you can pedal too kind of like the bikes over there I think they're really good and what I really like about them is kind of like how fast they are. I think that's all. So the bikes are really good. 
I like like how fast they go and um, the suspension on them. But one thing they that I would say that they should add maybe is either a kickstand or a back fender. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. This is the Voltaic Flying Fox available on RevRides.com. As you saw today, we've got a seven-year-old, a nine-year-old, and 11-year-old. All were able to ride this bike right out of the box and had a blast on it. The three different speed modes enables you to start your kid off slow, and as he advances in his riding ability, you can increase the speed. Super fun bike, very quality build. The suspension, the power, it's an amazing bike. We're really excited about these offerings from Voltaic. If you like this video, please give us a like. And if you wanna see more content like this, we'd love you to subscribe to our channel. <laughs>